Could we have another Litecoin breakout? Crypto Savvy here with your Litecoin update for the night. This is going to be a quick video. Stay tuned. One, two, three, go. What's up, guys? I wasn't going to make a Litecoin video today, but uh, I decided to real quick. It looks like we're about to make a little move up. Um, I'm going to try to catch it. Hopefully, I get it uploaded before it happens. So, um, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button in the right hand side of the screen down at the bottom right by my shoulder um, and give it a thumbs up if you like the content and share if you uh, belong to any groups or whatnot kind of kind of get it out there let people know I'm around all right um, as always I'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice if you are trading or investing in the market I suggest that you do your own due diligence and you know do some uh research on it see what you're getting into is these markets can be pretty volatile at times um, with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and get into the charts let's see this is a daily chart same thing uh, kind of as bitcoin with a falling wedge pattern and it looks like we, litecoin had broken out back in december but let's you know, let's first of all go into the rsi um the daily RSI, uh, we talked about this earlier this morning. I believe I posted a video on it. Um, as See if we would get a bounce off of this bottom bottom line in this ascending broadening wedge, which we did. Um, I'm gonna go into the four hour now. Look at the four hour. If you remember there was a channel we were following uh, for a couple weeks there. <clears throat> And we broke through the bottom, and, and we were watching this bottom trend line of it. And if we broke through, we knew we were going to have a sell-off. But we've popped back up into it now. Um, so it, it's looking pretty bullish right now. I don't want to say it's going to the moon, obviously, but we're definitely looking like a move up here. Um, let me get in here a little closer to the four-hour. Now, this is the channel um, we've been watching <clears throat> for... For a little while now and we broke out of it uh was that yesterday or saturday yeah saturday night sunday we broke out of it and came down and and it looks like we've we grabbed support right at 20 right at the around 29.83 range and bounced back up and now as you can see we are trending back in that channel and it, it looks like we're forming a bull flag here. Um, let me go into the one hour, get a little closer look at what's going on. Yeah, so here's the one hour. Um, like I said, I, this is just going to be a real quick video. I believe in the one hour anyway, we're going to break through this 200 EMA. Um, like I said, this is in the one hour. Now, we're going to do a measured move on here. Measure the flag pull on the flag. And get an idea of where we're going to be landing on this move if it does play out. And it looks like uh, around the 35, 35, 35 area. But what I want to do, I want to go back into the 4 hour because <clears throat> the flag pull looked a little bit different in the 4 hour and I think I would rather look at that one I think it'd be more accurate I'm going to move this back down here we may count this whole pull here and what happens if we do that <clears throat> if we were to break out here break through the 200 EMA and the uh, 21 EMA right there and as you can see my my 8 and 13 EMA are, are starting to cross right here and that's looking looking pretty bullish um, anyway this is the target area I'm looking at right here right around the $36 range um, that seems to have been you know resistance to us quite a bit over this way so that's uh that's where I'm looking for this move to go. Um, we might get there overnight, uh, maybe in the morning. It may be within the next, you know, hour, four hours, six, eight hours. But, but I definitely believe we're going up to this area, the 3602. If 
we drop back down outside of this channel here then then it's you know invalidated but but i believe we're we're going up to test at least this 36 dollar range and then uh we'll see what happens from there but like i said i just wanted to do a quick video um if you guys like the content please subscribe um and click the thumbs up really helps the channel out gets my videos out there to be viewed on youtube um i really appreciate it you know i i i like doing these channels or this channel and i like uh kind of showing my view of the charts and and uh i know i'd really appreciate it if you just click the like button i mean that's all i ask so uh i'll never ask for any pay i'm, I'm not um you know i'm just sharing um, what i see in the market for you guys i'm not into you know any paid groups or anything like that i just uh i don't know i i hope i can help somebody out um other than that i guess i i will be doing a uh video in the morning maybe so all right with that being said thanks guys appreciate you watching